Well, hey there, everyone. How's it going? I uh, wanted to check in with you really quick and share something that I discovered. Uh, whether you're watching this live or you're watching it later, I wanted to show you this really cool feature that Buffer just rolled out called Campaigns. Now, if you don't use Buffer, this may not be important to you, but uh, it might get you to switch. If you use Later, Hootsuite, Sprout Social, I don't know. Uh, maybe Sprout Social has something like this. I've never used Sprout Social. I don't know. I have no idea why I'm talking about Sprout Social, but Buffer is what I use to schedule things. Now, I've got a pretty clean slate here, so it'll be easy for me to show you this because I'm punching in all my social for the next couple weeks tonight. But um, I wanted to show you how it works, so I'm going to share my screen. We'll see if this works. Uh, I'm always nervous pushing buttons I haven't pushed in a while. Here we go. Let's see. We have a screen share. Okay. Oh, uh, it wants to update the system audio. I can't let you do that right now, Ecamm. Sorry. Uh, cancel. All right. So looking over here at Buffer, check this out. You see all my stuff that I have lined up over here. This little nug right here, campaigns. So when we click that, you can create a campaign. So I, I, I sometimes don't really click around a whole bunch of stuff to, just to see what it does, but I happen to do that on this one. And I'm very glad I did. So let's look at what create a campaign looks like. Let's call it test two because I already did a test one. All right, we can even pick our color. Let's make it bright yellow, save the campaign. All right, so it opens this thing up. Check this out. I can, I can set up posts in an automation kind of format for multiple platforms. I can set up how many times do I want to post. I want it to go to LinkedIn, uh, this page, Twitter, whatever. And I want to add an image. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just going to pop one in. Let's see. You get to see the back end here that uh, very few get to see. Actually, let's go to some old social media. So let's go to my Instagram folder, uh, posts, stuff that I have. Uh, let's just, here's one. Here's, that'd be a good one. Coaching. All right. So upload. And this is like coach. I don't need to put it on everything because if I forget to take this down, I don't want to post it over and over. Uh, Coaching is awesome. Uh, okay, so I can do my first comment. Don't do that. Even though they let you do it, that's kind of spammy. I don't really do this much either. So I can add to the queue. And as they say in France, Viola. Here we are. All right, so now I have my first post. So I can, I can it works basically like, like a buffer normally does. But now I can view a report. I can see how many I've got scheduled, how many were sent, uh, when it's run, when the campaign runs to, because if I posted something on another day, it would say the campaign runs till then. So I can view a report. Let's just see. It probably won't, ha won't have anything in it, but I just want to see what it looks like. Are they going to let me see this? Because buffer analyze typically is not free. At the mercy of some awesome internet right now. Oh, no, they're going to let me see it. Okay, well, whatever. I don't care. I use my own analytics, not theirs. Because I don't always use them to post, so it would be incomplete anyway. All right, so I've got this campaign. Now when I go to my tip, my standard page, you know, publish page, and I see all of these, this is my campaign. So I could get a, a bunch of them in order, and it would show me, like, where I'm posting what, what days, all in one long uh, you know, funnel, in one long, uh, like, what do they call those? Wireframes? That's not right. Uh, what they draw the thing, draw IO, draw.io is what I used. Workflow, funnels, flowchart. That's the word. It's late. Um, but now you can see that when I, when a post comes up, that's part of a campaign. It has this little tag beside it with the color. So I can keep up with where in my regular flow campaign stuff is happening and where just my one off regular old social is happening. So pretty sweet little tidbit it's basically like automation emails would be in mailchimp or uh convert kit which is what i use or any of these others you get your emails in a sequence that automatically fire same kind of thing only it's to a social channel and not a person but it's the same kind of process and, and thought uh process for this i just thought that was really cool i wanted to share that with you uh, i thought it was a pretty interesting little thing but now let, before we forget let's delete that because i've already posted that and if you want to sign up for coaching, that'd be great. Um, but this is a cool feature, man. It really is neat. I mean, um, I'll show you one other thing about Buffer in case you're a Buffer user that somebody else didn't know how to do. Um, it was when you go into one of these accounts, and if you want to change 
when these slots are. I didn't know how to do that. So go into settings. That's not, yeah, settings. And then you go and it drops this hard to see secondary little non-colored menu here, which I hate, but posting schedule is there. And now you can go in here and you can turn off posts. You can X them out. This is your schedule of possible times. You could clear them all. You can add one time. When you do it, you add it and it adds it to everything. If you want to add every day or you just want to add these to, to one day or to weekdays or weekends. I did that backwards, but, uh, but you get the gist. You can even pause it. And this is a great button right here to know when something tragic happens in the world and you've got like posts that are selling stuff or asking people to go to things and it would be really insensitive to, to let that stuff go. So as soon as some tragedy happens, you can go and just hit pause and nothing that schedule is going to go out. You just, it just pauses them, pauses the whole thing. Um, also a great button, great feature of buffer. It's not really a commercial for buffer. I just use it. I love it. If you use it too, or, or don't know what to use. Um, I use this plant. This is 12 bucks a month. I think it's, I think it's 12. If you pay for the full year, 15, maybe by month. Uh, but they have a free plan that does um, a lot of this. They probably can't do campaigns. Um, you probably won't be able to see this. I think it, you can't see the slots. Um, yeah, you can't see the slots in your queue, but you can change them. So it will have them when you actually make a post, it'll have a drop down where you can select a slot that you've selected, like a time slot you really like, but it won't show up like this, where you can just click this and drop it into that spot specifically. I don't know why that's a paid feature. It's kind of inconsequential, but it's convenient. Um, and then it also limits to what you can do over here to, I think three, but, um, you can, de well, no, it's not three, but it's one per uh, platform. So as you can see, I got multiple Facebook pages, the page, or is that the group? I don't know. Uh, this is the group and this is the page. And if it's not, who cares? Um, then you got, I can have multiple Instagrams, Twitters, church comm teams in here, eight bits in here. Pinterest. I told you I post to Pinterest all the time. I'm probably gonna do a video on Pinterest soon, but um, it, most of my website traffic comes from Pinterest. All my blog traffic comes from Pinterest. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought that was pretty cool and uh, you know it's a helpful feature. So um, if you're using Buffer or looking for something to use, Buffer's a great tool. Check it out, Buffer.com. I wish I had an affiliate link. I don't because um, it would help me help you uh, and then help me again. But I. Don't. So I don't, but I just, I tell you about tools I love because I use them and I like them. So check out Buffer. All right, guys, thanks for watching this and I hope you have a splendid evening. I will see you again soon. It will be great. I can move this right now. Can I look at that? Did I move it to the other side? Sure did. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. That way the YouTube banner will not be over it. All right, I've been, I've rambled enough. It's late. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.